everybody, and welcome to the Draftsman's Universal Statistics Tracking Program, or much more easily said, as, uh, pronounced as just DUST, um, version 0 0.04. So what is this? This is a Draftsman, this is a training program, and it has statistical tracking. What you're seeing here are these blocks, um, and I'll explain exactly what this is. This is the uh, 3D statistics database, um, and a three-dimensional statistics database. So if I were to bring up um, let's say random practice, I'll tell it to show me all, you know, just randomly throw ellipses at me. And, um, and yeah, you have to draw the ellipses, so. Oh, that was a bad one. That was really bad. So, you've got this, 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 um, this trail, right? Use the trail, hover your stylus, and adjust your orbit until you're drawing the ellipse you want. Then apply pressure when you're satisfied. Also, follow the direction of this little little uh, doodad, I don't know what to call it. And um, if you go the wrong way, then it will flunk you. So. so you have to go with the direction that it's telling you to do. The thing about this software is that it will train you by getting you to draw ellipses that you are not good at, as well as the ones that you might, might be good at. And. Um, It's pressure sensitive as well. So the harder you press, um, the more that nudges the line out of, out of place. So the line actually starts out right on the circle, but as you draw, it will nudge the line out of place. So you have to be quite accurate, and the harder you press, the more it will nudge the line. And it takes an average of those lines that you draw. The, more that, the harder that you press also, the, the fewer times you get to go around to correct yourself. Now this might be good if you're if you're very if you're able to get it on the first try, but uh, it's not so good if you're not able to get it on that first try. So if you need for like for some forgiveness in this program, then uh, then you're gonna want to press lighter. Yeah, I'm flunking those ones. So obviously I'm having difficulty with the really squished ellipses. Oh wow, that was bad. All right, so there we are. I just barely got that one. The rounder it is, the easier it is for me to handle. Obviously, oof, I screwed up in the last few brushstrokes, right? So I mean, it really gets you. It, it really tries to get you to stay on target. And finally, um, all of those results are tabulated into this database, this three-dimensional database. And as you can see, there's now some red blocks showing up because I flunked a bunch of them. And um, this thing is showing you, like, it's, it, as you work with this, this thing, the more that you work with the program, the more that it will populate the database and really show you um, through, you know, it'll, give, it'll track your statistics and tell you, you're good at drawing these ellipses, you're bad at drawing these other ellipses, and then when you realize where your faults lie, you know, you can, you can say select your own, and let's say I want to deal with that bad red block over there, so I, it's, uh, it's, there's top and bottom, right? So, so there's, clockwise, there's clockwise, and I want one that is uh, squashed beyond recognition, and one that is brob ding naggy, and so a giant one, so uh, number four, and then a uh, diagonal left. So it, like this is for a diagonal right, because the right hand is easier to draw. The diagonal left is much more difficult, so if I told it to do diagonal left, now it only highlights that one. So you can actually tell it um, to do, let's say, random ones as well. You can, um, if you hit escape, I can tell it to do randomly sized ones that are diagonal left, and it will give me all of the ones that fit into this area. So this program lets you select a range of, of ellipses to work on. And then if you tell it to work on, say, uh, hard mode, it shows you only the box guides which is really, really tricky. Oh, oh, oh wow, terrible. Just hor horrifying, horrifyingly bad. So, yeah, this is, this is obviously where I, where I really suck at drawing these ellipses. Oh, I keep failing at the end. I, I keep thinking to myself, oh, the aggregate's about 50, and then I try to rush it, and then boom, I die, right? So, like, that's what this software does. This software finds where you're bad, and it 
you can get it to just throw the worst stuff at you and you can practice at well, the things you're bad at until you get good at them. Um, so that's the thing is that it, it offers quantitative, you know, like I don't know of any other programs until now that offer you some kind of quantitative statistical analysis of all of the ellipses that you could possibly draw. All I'm doing is I'm right now, I'm just currently ingraining how bad I am at drawing that particular ellipse. But that's what this thing does, is, it, it, is that people say they want to get better. They tell me they want to get better at drawing. They want to um, improve their drawing skills. And so I figured I would make a program which can actually give you some sort of gauge. It can actually quantify um, your draftsmanship skill and tell you, hey, you know, this is where you're good and this is where you're bad. And um, if you want to start over, you can also do a total data nuke, the F12 key. Careful, there's no data, there's no confirmation you hit it, bang, it will just nuke your data. Um, you can do things like turn on and off the crosshair um, and the arrow and the trail. Um, so hang on, let me just go back to, uh, if I think if I go to random practice and I tell it to do a three-point circle. Yeah, I think you can turn on, uh, there's the crosshair, yeah. So you can turn on and off the crosshair. And the crosshair, some people don't like it because they feel that it, well, tablets do lag a bit and so does the software. So if it's, if it's bothering you, you can turn it off. And uh, there's a left-handed mode as well, which is specifically for the um, for the training mode. That's the only thing it has effect over. Um, is sort of the order in which it, it it kind of sends the aspect ratios and stuff at you. So um, yeah, that's the uh, that's that's the program. Um, it's offered free of charge, um, and there's download links in the description. And if you really if you like it, and you think it might be useful for other people, please share it around to other draftsmen you might know. If you don't have a Wacom tablet, I'm really sorry that I can't support other tablets just because I didn't write the uh, the pressure plugin. If you are finding that um, if you have a bamboo tablet and you're finding that your bamboo tablet is um, and you're in a multiple monitor display and your tablet's not mapping to the correct monitor, there's real again there's nothing I can do about that, that unless you turn off either your other displays or if you were to. Um, use the non version, right? So that's, it's, the problem is entirely with that Wacom pressure plugin. Um, there's nothing I can do about it because I bought it on the asset store. And it's, and I didn't, I don't have the code to change it. So, um, but other than that, I mean, hey, like, uh, if you have a Wacom tablet, they're the most uh, common ones. And, um, and yeah, like, just, just, this thing will give you the ability to, uh, to work on something. I will have modes, um, you know, for things like straight lines and whatnot, but uh, I'll, let's just see how much people like the software and share it around, and uh, if they really, really like it, then, uh, and, you know, if it gets far enough along, then maybe I'll put it on Steam for free and uh, have achievements and, I don't know, all that other, you know, frou-frou stuff that people like. So, um, yeah, thanks for uh, checking it out. I'll talk to you later.